In this paper, we describe a new model uh, to forecast inflation in the euro area. And we do that because inflation forecasts are a very important input for monetary policy. The reason why they are a very important input is that uh, uh, there are considerable lags by which monetary policy affect the economy. This is also one reason why the mandate of uh, the European Central Bank is cast in terms of stabilizing inflation over the medium term. This medium term orientation means in practice that the economic analysis needs to assess whether the current, past and to a certain extent future event have a temporary or a persistent effect on inflation. If they have a temporary effect, in fact, uh, monetary policy is not likely to act, while if there is a persistent effect from these events on inflation, monetary policy is much more likely to act. And in principle, inflation forecasts are the tools that condense such an assessment. That's why it's so important to produce a new model to uh, support the analysis uh, of inflation forecasts. The question is, which model to choose to, uh, to forecast inflation. And in particular, what we do in this article is to choose the so-called quantile regression forest model. This is a model for, for the, from the field of machine learning. Why this choice? Well, the Eurosystem strategy review, which uh, uh, was completed in 2021, concluded that the Eurosystem toolbox to forecast inflation was overwhelmingly linear. Linearity means that uh, a variable used to predict inflation, let's say wages, for example, has always the same proportional effect on inflation independently of the economic circumstances. However, economic theory has challenged this assumption and have found many potential non-linearities. For example, uh, suggesting that uh, wages could affect inflation differently depending on the economic circumstances. The appeal of our model choice is that our model can actually capture very general forms of nonlinearity, so encompassing many of these economic theories uh, uh, of inflation determination. This is also relevant uh, because um, in ca capturing so many potential nonlinearities and comparing our model with a linear model, we can have a fair test of whether inflation dynamics in the euro area are driven by nonlinear or by linear dynamics. So we compare the forecast accuracy of two state-of-the-art models, the linear model and, the, and this one, the machine learning model, which specifically we use quantile regression for it. We find that for headline inflation, they have a similar accuracy. But for core, actually, um, the machine learning model has a slightly better accuracy. This is over the period 2001-2021. What does it mean? That means that actually you would find some kind of non mildly nonlinear dynamics more in core than in headline. What is the difference between core and headline? Actually, core is part of headline, but not only. There is food and there is an energy component also in headline. So that means if headline is linear, we find it mostly linear, and core, we find it that it has a mild nonlinearity. It means that the, the energy and the food component, mostly the dynamics of those are mostly linear. We also compare the forecast performance on accuracy of that machine learning model to institutional forecasts. In our case, we do it with the survey of professional forecasts and also the URI system forecast we find that basically kind of similar accuracy. This is especially for the short term. This is up to six months. Therefore, we think we that these results suggest that the machine learning models have to be seen as a complement rather than a substitute for the more existing models in the toolkit, which are basically linear. So they should be seen as an addition to the currently already existing model. So the, major, the first major element of policy relevance in our work is uh, that obviously we develop a model that can be used and is used in the Eurosystem analysis of inflation. But of course there are also other potential uh, policy implications. I would suggest uh, at least two. First, uh, at times, uh, inflation forecasts from central banks, including the Eurosystem, have been criticized for not being particularly accurate. However, in our work, we show that uh, the forecast from a state-of-the-art nonlinear model from machine learning seems to be as accurate or less accurate than the Eurosystem forecast. 
And second, uh, the assumption of linearity characterizing a large part of the modeling toolbox of central banks, including the euro system, does not seem to be too wide of the mark. And in fact, our results show that uh, the forecasts from our nonlinear model are in line in terms of accuracy with those from a state-of-the-art linear model.